yesterday no Hey folks this is Samir and I'm back with another best android setup video It seems like you guys are quite liking this series so now I have decided that instead of doing one setup video a month I'll be doing two So here is the first android setup for the month of October This time I have created this neonish looking home screen a colorful and simple setup It's a dual screen setup that packs all the functionality that you will need in a home screen The wallpaper really complements the whole setup The home screen icons also have this unique neon shade I have used three sets of widgets for this setup. One is for the date and time. Next one is this cool looking Google search bar and the last widget specifically for my three most used social media apps. So let's see how you can achieve it. Let's start with the wallpaper. The wallpaper that I'm using in this setup is one of the most unique wallpaper that I have ever used in any setup. This looks best on AMOLED screen but it won't look bad on LCD screens either as long as your display can give off deep blacks. One thing to notice on the home screen is that the icons do not cover the wallpaper even if you scroll through the pages. However, the screen features almost all the necessary widgets and icons one would need. The space bar is there along with the space to accommodate almost a dozen of icons despite keeping it clean, functional and appealing to the eye. You can download this wallpaper and all other apps that I'm going to show you in this video from the description down below. For the icons, I have used two different sets of icon packs. One is specifically for the home screen and second for the app drawer, just as my last setup. So for the home screen, I have used this two pixel icon pack, which basically has this neonish icons and I used this to match the color scheme of the setup. Two pixel is literally different than anything you are used to till date. All the icons in this pack are clean outlines that is they just have a border with no color filled in them whatsoever. This may sound a bit weird at first, but 2 pixel is really a beautiful icon pack. You have to manually change the home screen icons to 2 pixel icons just like this. For the app drawer, I have used this pixel drop icons, which is an elegantly designed teardrop shaped icon pack. Simply put, it's like stock icons as it keeps their official colors, but with teardrop shape. Each icon is very detailed and of extremely high quality. If we talk about the widgets, there are three widgets that I used in this setup, and all are from Zuper Widgets. The first one at the bottom showcases the day and date. The second one is this unique looking search bar and third one is this three set of social media apps which consist of Facebook, WhatsApp and YouTube app. To set up this widget, first you have to download the Zuper app from the Play Store. Additionally, you also have to download Frostbit Zuper widget app. Once done, go to the widget section by long pressing anywhere on the home screen and create a Zuper widget. You can also resize it according to your liking. Now click on that widget then go to Frostbit widget and from here select this widget and here you go we have this widget on the home screen now you can place it where you like and also resize it according to your choice you can set up the other two widgets in the same way moving forward to the launcher which is as always the novel launcher and it's my all time favorite as it allow users to change every aspect of the launcher and you have to do some tweaks in order to achieve this exact look For this look I have changed the desktop grid size to 9 by 5 and reduced the icon layout to 85%. I have also disabled the dock as that will give you a cleaner look. I have changed the grid size of the app drawer to 6 by 5 and reduced the background transparency to 100%. So there you have it guys. That's how you can achieve this look and customize your Android. Do let me know what setup I should do next and for more future videos like this do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.